Hello again, my name is Simon Müller. I'm product manager of Canoe Diva. I'd like to show you how to generate software download tests with Canoe Diva today. Um, we have a Flash tool called vFlash uh, that supports quite a number of uh, bootloaders. So there is a support of over 100 bootloaders, uh, different bootloaders of different OEMs within uh, that one tool. Uh, Reflash looks quite simple, it only has one button, uh, which is called Flash. You press that button and the software, software is downloaded on, on the module. Um, of course, what you need to do or what you need to provide or what you need to have is the, the application and, um, uh, and, this, and the Flash driver um, and the application data that you want to bring on, on, the, so on the module. You also give the communication parameters like it's done here in that project and once you did that all you can save that in a uh, pick and go file and also use that on other systems uh, by just press pressing that button like I uh, do that now. Um, here we use a, a little demo which uh, um, yeah, um, only has a, a small piece of software on it so the software download uh, is quite quick. So this is vFlash. You can use it with flashing, for flashing, and if you have Diva, you can also use vFlash together with Diva to generate software download tests. So going into Diva, I go to Diagnostic Application, I go to Download, and here I can provide the information about the ECU software. So I can configure the vFlash pack here, which contains everything that is required for uh, flash of uh, download software on the module. By providing additional information to Diva, I can um, generate additional tests. So for example, which service is used for erase memory tells Diva uh, when the memory is erased during the download sequence by configuring or by specifying how long the erase memory takes uh, we know for example when we can uh, for example cancel an um, uh, erase memory uh, routine. <clears throat> we all can also configure valid conditions where uh, flashing should still be possible so above 10 volt and below 15, uh, 14 volts flashing should still be possible. So these are the properties for, for the module and then we go to tests and here we can configure that we want to have the download tests. We can uh, select if we want to also have include power off tests. So power off means we remove the power during the flash sequence uh, for example by controlling um, uh, a controllable power device or uh, power supply. And also we stop the software download by just not transmitting any data anymore. Okay, so once we did that we press on generate and we get a test module which we can use in Canoe. So we import our test module So of course we also have other tests in the test generated. Um, did not deactivate them, so I will only activate the download tests. And as this takes some time, I will only run the the valid download test. So there, there are others. So test for minimum voltage, maximum voltage. Uh, different tests where the download is stopped uh, during the flash sequence, um, and what Diva does is during the test it checks response timings, checks the, the services that are sent um, and in case of errors it checks if the module can be reflashed even if the, uh, the software that is, was downloaded is incomplete um, or the, the uh, erasing uh, was uh, interrupted um, 
before. Okay, so I start the test. Press on play. Uh, you can see in the trace file that uh, something is happening. So here you see transfer data and test is completed. So I go I go back to Diva, I load the test report, go to the test case and here see all the test steps that were done during um, the test sequence. So um, it starts with checking uh, programming preconditions. Um, it disables DTC setting and also normal communication. Uh, the, the sequence switches to bootloader, so by requesting a programming session service and so on. So everything that is required to bring the software down on the module is done. Um, transfer data is requested uh, to transfer um, transfer is done and at the end uh, transfer exit is is called and at the very end of the test we check that uh, the application um, is again online after an ECU reset. So this is the usual valid uh, sequence as I mentioned before there are also a, quite a number of invalid test cases so where we just check uh, that uh, the module is still capable is capable of recovering after uh, the test or after the flash sequence was interrupted in, in some way. Okay, so that's it for software download test. Um, so if you also have vFlash, if you got Diva, you can combine those two tools um, to also generate software download tests, which um, tests how robust your module is uh, when downloading software or when errors occur during the software download process. Thank you very much. I hope you like that feature. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.